episode of the Kitchen Warrior. I am Chef Melvin and today I want to show you how to make Cajun style red beans. Let me show you here. Here I have soaked these, this is one pound of red beans. These have been soaking for five hours in a refrigerator covered with water. I have one clove of garlic. I have two Roma tomatoes. I have two stalks of celery. I have a half a green bell pepper. I have a half an onion. I have a Cajun spice mix that I made right here. Here we have a, a ham stock. This is the stock from the bones. These are neck bones, smoked neck bones that I boiled and this is the stock that render. We also have a little bit of paprika, some, some oil. So what we're going to do is that we are going to remove all the meat from these bones and we're going to cut them. But if we're just cooking and eating at home, you can serve it right with the bone. We just want to remove little bits and pieces of this meat that way that it's not that hard to, to, to deal with. You don't have to deal with the bone. All right, let's start by making our sofrito here, uh, Cajun style. So we're going to drop an onion. This is the, uh, the trinity and we're going to place the trinity right here in the blender along with these tomatoes, the garlic. We're going to add a little bit of the stock, just a little bit right here. Just like that, yeah. And we're going to cover this and blend it briefly. Uh, we are removing the meat from these neck bones. These have been marinating in brine and they were smoked. And the flavor is awesome. It's a little bit salty too. So you have to be careful with the amount of salt that you use when making these beans. But this right here, my friend, is going to make the difference and it's going to enhance this beans greatly. All right. All right. So let's get let's get started by adding a little bit of oil here in the pan. And we're going to cook right here our Cajun style sofrito. Swirl it in there and we're going to add one teaspoon of our Cajun spice mix right in there. Just like that. We're going to cook this for about three minutes. We just want to get rid of some of the liquid. And then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so we've been cooking, we've been cooking this Cajun style sofrito down for about three minutes. All right, and this is where we're at. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our beans right there directly, just like that. And we're going to add our smoked ham that we got from those neck bones. Very good, we're going to mix it some more. And now we're going to add our liquid. And what we want to do is just barely cover these beans. And you know what? That is the perfect amount. Yes, the perfect amount. All right, so we're going to cover this. And we're going to let it cook slowly for 45 minutes. And we're going to adjust the seasoning. And these beans are going to be Marvelous. All right, so the beans have been cooking for approximately 35 minutes. Because we had pre-soaked them, they are nice and soft. Let me take a look and see what they taste like. They need another 10 minutes, but what we're going to do now is we're going to season it because it definitely needs a little bit more seasoning. So we're going to add one more teaspoon of the Cajun seasoning. And we're going to add one teaspoon of paprika. Whole teaspoon of paprika. We have finalized our red beans Cajun style. I've also made a dirty rice to go with these beans and we are ready for plate up. So what we're going to do is that we have chopped up a little bit of Anaheim pepper and some parsley and this will be part of our garnish. Alright, so we have scooped a little rice here in the center of this mold and we are going to lift it briefly here in a second. Let's add a little bit of beans to our plate. As you can see, these beans are delicious. And we're going to place some like this right around the plate. Very nice. That's perfect. Now by tomorrow, if we leave these beans sitting in our refrigerator, tomorrow these beans will be twice as good. Just like that. We're going to add a little bit of these green peppers with parsley as garnish. We're going to lift our rice mold. It 
and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil because it is at this time that olive oil and beans get along best. All right, this is a Cajun style dish. I am Chef Melvin, the Kitchen Warrior. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Till next time. Mm -hmm.